Yo, what's good? So in today's video, I got um definitely a highly requested video and stuff. It is a how to make an overhead GUI, like a rank tag. If you want to know how to make a name tag, let me know. I guess I'll do a part two where I show how to make a name tag. I'm showing you how to do a rank tag and stuff. Like say if you're like um say if you're in a group or whatever, um it'll give you and then you want uh whatever that rank to be the ranking game, or if you just want it to be if your if the player is this rank or that rank, then you would just give them it doesn't matter the point is i'm gonna show you guys how to make a rank tag right so first things first head on over to replicated storage i already have it here because in all honesty th like there's like a certain like if you ever tried to make a rank tag like overhead display to you guys would know that like it's kind of complicated because like you have to get the sizing right so it doesn't like kind of like the point is it's just really hard to get the sizing down so it doesn't act weird so first things first you want to insert a billboard gy now all you guys have to do, all y'all have to do, is obviously change the name and the rank tag. Well, you don't have to, but for the sake of the video, yeah. Then here is what you do for size, right? You want you guys want to change uh, your scale uh, for x three, make it a three. Then for y, make it zero point seven five. Make sure that's scale, not offset, right? Then you want to scroll down to stud offset, and you want to make your y value two point three. That's all y'all want to do. Then inside the rank tag, we have our rank text label. And simply for here, you would just, I mean, it's, the size is 1010. Zero, one, zero. So I guess, yeah, if you guys want the sizing to fit, like, you know, to look good on the player and stuff like that, you would just go with this. Then we can, uh, I guess we'll have no text, right? And stuff. I'm going to make my text color red just because, but yeah. But yeah, that's all y'all got to do for the rank tag and stuff, right? So let's head on over to server script service and insert a server script and let's call this rank tag handler script, right? And let's do game dot players. We're gonna make a function game players dot player added colon connect function in parentheses put PLR, which is sure for the player. And then uh hmm. You know, actually, something that would be pretty cool, actually, if you want to give every single player their own unique, like, kind of set of numbers, you could use their user ID, because everybody has a different user ID. So I guess I'll just do that for the video. I'll do it like this. So first, we'll do local user ID is equal to player user ID, right? And then we're, of course, going to retrieve the rank tag from replicated storage. Local rank tag is equal to game storage dot rank tag. Then we're gonna do local rank tag clone is equal to rank tag clone rank rank tag clone dot parent is equal to the uh oh, we need to get the character. I guess it's just a player a character dot head, right? Actually, let's do wait for child. Yeah, let's wait. Let's wait for both. Wait for child character. Yeah, make sure you do wait for child just in case. Wait for child head. Right. And then we of course are gonna change the text. I'm oh, sorry. Dot rank text label dot text and is then equal to the user ID. Not text equal to user ID. And there we go. We can go ahead and click play and it will it should be above my head in red letter i mean red numbers oh maybe it's not above my head wait is it even here is the question let me see okay it's not here interesting oh wait i, I think i know what it is um Oh wait, I'm still so I'm, I'm stupid. Hold on, I'm so I'm stupid. I just said player wait for child character. I'm stupid. Okay, do game dot workspace wait for child and then uh player dot name and then uh hmm, I guess I'll do wait for child head to just to be on the safe side. I'm sorry, that's that's my fault. Okay, now it should be there. There we go. So as as you guys can see, it also like like if I uh like move my mouse and stuff like that like it stays kind of anchored anchored in a position stuff like that right it obviously moves with my mouse but like it doesn't like kind of obstruct your view or anything like it moves with the player or with the character i should say yeah there's my user idea and stuff but yeah that's how you do it and stuff if you want one that's more focused towards name tags 
I can definitely have a video on that, but I mean, in all honesty, all you would really have to do is just clone it over, then set the text to the player's uh, username, which is relatively simple. But if y'all want to be on it, I got y'all. Y'all just let me know. I appreciate y'all for watching the video. Leave a like and subscribe. Links to Drummer Roblox and Discord can be found in the description. Yeah, I'll see you guys.